Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Today's topic is dating sabotage. So many of us are going out dating today and getting really frustrated with things because it's just not working out the way we want it to. But for the most part, it's our own situation that's making that happen. There's things that we're doing that aren't always clear to us. So I'm going to point out a few things that I've noticed with clients of mine who have given me permission to talk about this, of course. But there's certain things that we're all doing to ourselves in our daily life that can sabotage good things happening for us. One of the first ones I'd like to draw attention to is being judgmental too quickly, being very picky, finding things to complain about on every date you go on. A lot of the times this is because you're afraid of having a commitment. You have a fear of commitment. So you become very guarded and finding little things to happen so that you can say, oh no, this one didn't work out. Now I'm not interested. No, see, dating's terrible. Nothing works out for me. Nothing's working out for you because you're being very, very particular about what you want in your life but at the same time, you're not allowing it in your life. Another thing that can happen with many people is they go out and they date and they want everything to happen right away. They want instant gratification. They're looking for wedding, wedding bells and all that stuff that happens, you know, that they want to happen, I should say. So what's going on is they're sabotaging anybody from coming into their life because they're pushing that other person away. There's too much clinginess going on. There's too much questions being put out there about, you know, when's this going to happen? And you become very uh, aggressive in your approach with them. So this will turn people away and it sabotages your happiness because ultimately you, people don't want to be rushed into something. So if you think that you're going to marry every single person you date, you're going to be in for a lot of surprises. It's not going to work out for you. There's also that internal dialogue that can plague your, your decisions in life. We all have a little bit of that in us. It's we're not sort of able to escape everything that's transpired with drama in our lives. So we hold on to some of that dialogue and it repeats a pattern of, of thinking. So you have to get to the bottom of what this in, internalized sort of conversation is going on inside of you because that will totally sabotage any chance of being in a relationship. So be very, very aware of those words that are constantly playing in your head. There's also a lot of people are very insecure about how they look or appear. So they want to draw attention to their bad things right away and let that person know that they're dating all these things about them so that when the time comes, you know, when the, when the time comes when you might be intimate with them or, or have some kind of sexual relations with them, you have told them all your bad qualities, so now they're prepared. Don't do that, <laughs> because the problem with that is you want to put out your good traits. You don't want to start out a, a new situation with negative thinking or negative conversations, vocabulary to somebody, because you want to be showing them your best side. But so many people think that if they tell everybody all the worst things about them, well, they have to love you for all of that. Give them time to fall in love with you. Don't push them away by telling everybody the horrible things. We all have stuff, but you don't need to tell a person on a date in the very beginning all those things. It's not necessary. It's way too much information. Another thing on a date, make sure the conversation is reciprocated. Don't babble on and talk so much about yourself that you forget to ask them things because this is quite common on a date. People get nervous and they just start chatting. Make sure you always ask the other person some questions. That's very important because you also want to learn about them and you want them to learn a little bit about you, but they don't need to have open book policy on the first few dates. Keep some stuff back. Be a little mysterious. You don't have to tell them every single thing. And take pride in your appearance when you go on a date. I'm not saying you have to get all you know, dolled up and the guy doesn't have to wear a three-piece suit or anything like that. You go and you date somebody, but you make an effort in your appearance. You look good. There's so many times people say, ah, oh, they have to accept me for who I am. That's just the way it is. Well, of course they're going to accept you, but if you don't put any energy or effort into how you come across to other people, 
it appears that you're lazy and you just don't care. Nobody wants that in their partner. They want somebody who actually cares about how they come across to others. It's really important. First impressions make or break that second date. I've said that in quite a few videos and it's super important to take a little bit of time in how your body language is and how you come across on that first, those first few dates. And last but not least, if you're dating the same type of people over and over again and it's not working out for you, you've got to change it up. It's a very simple format. Don't be so picky that you only have a certain type that you're looking at. You want to have an open sort of minded approach and when you're meeting people that it just is something nice that you like about them. Maybe you're talking to them online, maybe they make you laugh, maybe they're not the you know, a typical blonde that you would go for, give it everything a chance. Don't be so narrow-minded in, in the people that you choose to date. This is super important because if you look back at all the photos on your, on your phone and every guy or every girl that you've dated looks the same and you're not in a relationship and it's not working out, that's why because it's not the person you're supposed to be with. So change up your format. Don't get stuck doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results because we all know how that turns out, right? So I hope this helps you today because I think it's really important to be aware of how you come across to other people. Ask your friends, ask maybe a family member, somebody that you trust and just say, do you notice a pattern? Do you see something that I'm doing that's sabotaging my happiness? And offer them some help with that and be open to accepting help from others as well. Thanks everyone for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please keep your questions and comments coming. Subscribe to my channel, like the video, and thanks once again for visiting me here at Dear Cyber Sue on YouTube. Thanks everyone. Bye-bye.